welcome to another parent pickup line. I hope you guys had the best day yesterday with it being Easter. Happy Easter, all of you. If you don't celebrate Easter, I hope you had an amazing Sunday. There's not a whole lot that I have to update you with on the Oogie Boogie. Last week was really weird. I think it was either crazy busy or there was just something odd off with my schedule. I know the kids didn't have school on Friday. So that definitely meant that there was no crocheting of the Oogie Boogie on Friday. But I literally got to the point here where I finished all the rows. He's definitely taking on more of a bag shape now because of the tapering on the bottom. He just needs to be stuffed and then closed in on the bottom. And then I can work on the arms and legs and all of the details. So he's still really close. I think by the end of this week, I'll have Oogie Boogie done for sure. And then reflecting on all of your comments that you left on my last video where I asked you to vote, what character should I make next? There was quite a few of you who wanted me to make zero. So Zero will be the next character that I make. But that kind of surprised me. I was like, really? Of all the characters, I mean, it doesn't, does it, I guess? I was thinking you guys would want more of the Amigurumi and Zero seems more flat to him. But at the same time, he is Jack's right-hand man. He's like Jack's pet, like the, his, his little friend that hangs out with him throughout the whole movie so I guess they are two peas in a pod in a sense and go together really well so I guess yeah that makes sense in that regard but yeah I was a little surprised because I was like gosh they're probably gonna have me make Sally that was going to be kind of like okay Jack and Sally you know either that or I was kind of thinking the mayor maybe maybe the mayor but all right, zero it is. <laughs> so definitely by the end of this week, I am hoping to have wrapped up Oogie Boogie and started on zero. Yes, so cool. I did order my Coraline kit, which I think I may have talked about last week. Did I talk about that last week? I'm getting my days completely mixed up. So if I already talked about this, I apologize. But I know that the Coraline kit, Advent kit, released on Silly Goose Yarns on the 4th. I think that was a Tuesday, so it might have been the day after. I did end up getting the DK version of that kit because she also had a fingering version and another version. And I was thinking to myself, gosh, I might consider the fingering weight and make just these itty bitty Amigurumi characters of Coraline. But then I was thinking, I don't know what colors are going to be included in this advent box. So I don't want to go in on this kit buying a fingering weight, which I'm not very versed in. I don't make a lot of things with fingering weight yarn. And then it's just not something that I can work with for a Migurumi. So I'm like, you know what? I do have experience with the DK size three weight yarn. Uh, there's a lot that I could make with that. I could still make an Amigurumi with that if the colors are there, or I could make a shawl or a top, or I don't even know what is going to be in this kit. So I don't even know what to expect. <laughs> I just know that I'm more comfortable working with the DK weight yarn. So I'm gonna go with that. And that's what I purchased. The other thing that's gonna be hard is that this is like a pre-order in a sense. She isn't even shipping out these finished advent calendars until October, because I have a feeling it's gonna take her that long to dye all the yarn. She's probably figuring out how many kits are gonna sell before she starts the yarn dyeing process. That way she can keep all of the yarn in the same dye lot. So all of the yarn is the same consistent color, which is smart on her part. But I'm like, man, I have to wait that long. <laughs> so now I've purchased the kit and I'm in the waiting game until October to see what I had actually purchased. But I'm so glad I did because I do love Coraline. And since buying the kit, I think I've watched the movie twice already <laughs> just because I'm like thinking about it and in that frame of mind, I love that movie so much. I'm just all about that whimsical, the, the whimsical feel, vibe, the color palettes being so rich and bold and saturated. I just love, love, love that. So very excited there. 
and then this month oh my gosh we're already in like week two. Oh, i need to get on the ball the end of this month is the north texas yarn crawl and i've been talking about that a lot here on the channel too because i really want to do it i have not gone to a yarn crawl ever and when i lived in washington state they had one and I remember just missing one and hearing people talk about it and I was so bummed I was like oh, I want to do that so bad so now that it's on my radar and I know it's happening I'm like I have to go to this I really want to experience a yarn crawl so I still have to come up with an itinerary of when I'm going to be where and I need to do that probably this week so that way I can get that out to people so if they would like to join me along the journey it, it just be more fun to do it with people you know and have that whole experience and then while I'm out and about I'm going to be interviewing yarn dyers and talking with business owners about the yarn crawl and what it's like to be a dyer and what things to consider and what it's like to be a yarn shop owner and what things to consider and just what it's like being in those professions because yarn dyers are such artists and yarn shop owners are such passionate people about the yarn fibers that we all love. I mean, I don't know about you, but for the longest time, even still secretly in my heart, I've always wanted to own my own yarn shop, just this cute little yarn shop that would be full of yarn and I would just sit in there and crochet whatever my heart wanted to crochet and I would like chat with people and crochet with people and just be in that environment. That always just seemed like my happy place. Now I get, I get it. My husband is the business person. He's the voice of reason. And he's like, Tiffany, those locations never make a bunch of money. They probably just make enough to survive, but they don't profit a whole bunch. And I'm like, you're right. It's definitely a dream where I'd be doing it for the passion and not, not so much for the profit, but anybody else out there with me that would just, that would just be a joy to them would be to own a yarn shop. Anybody else? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so got that going on. And then we're currently, we just wrapped up on Friday. We wrapped up the shawl campaign. I managed to ship in my shawl. I'm so glad that I was able to contribute and get that in. It's that bloom shawl that I just released a tutorial on on Saturday. That shawl I donated into Warm Up America. So somebody is going to receive that shawl from the video to wear and to have and so that vid or that shawl is gone and I just feel really good that I was able to contribute many of you were able to contribute I know the number is quite significant Cherie from Warm Up America already I think it was Friday she touched base on how many shawls she had gotten at that point but there were still more shawls coming in so she'll have a more accurate count for me this week and then I'm going to be sharing that count with everybody on YouTube or on my main channel of YouTube uh, sometime either this week or early next week when that count comes into me and let everyone know what we were able to accomplish and shawls are not a small project shawls are a big project so that's going to be really exciting to find out we're also currently in the soap sack campaign and I have five created there's so many people very excited about this campaign that have made so many and I'm ecstatic because my goal is 5,000 by the end of April, and I really think we can do it. I think we just need to stay motivated and continue to remember that this campaign is even happening, because I don't know about you, but I have uh, the squirrel mentality, where I'm like, squirrel, oh, my attention's over here. Oh, I'm pumped, I'm excited, oh, squirrel. Now my attention's over here. I'm pumped and excited, and then I forget what's happening over here. So I'm constantly having to, um, just remind myself this is happening so let's keep reminders out there and that's where the YouTube shorts really help me out because they help me by keeping people reminded that something's happening like the temperature blanket a we're at week 16 now this week week 17 uh, where are you at here here's the project remember this is still happening this is still going on and that one's gonna be most interesting because the temperature blanket is a year-long project 
just keeping people motivated to finish it. It starts off very exciting and we're all excited in the first two months. It looks beautiful and we're pumped and we're excited. But then week or month three is when you start losing people because they want to start doing other things. And month four, month five, it's going to go, eee! I'm like, no, no, don't lose faith. Don't lose track. Keep going. Um, speaking of my crochet club members, I'm going to be getting in touch with you guys within this week or early next week on uh, May's, May's crochet stitch of the month. So be on the lookout for that and help me vote or help me by voting on which one you want. So I'm gonna get the ball rolling on that so I'm a little bit early and don't have that crunched. I don't want crunch time. No crunch time. <laughs> uh, there's just so much this month. I'm so excited that it's April. The weather is beautiful here in Texas. Uh, the, you know, turning spring is one of my favorite times of year. Fall is my favorite by far. I love fall the most, but spring is among my favorites because it's kind of like the opposite of fall. And it's so beautiful on how everything is coming to life. And I think that's just so beautiful to see, but. All right, I don't have a whole lot more to talk about other than that. There's still a lot of moving parts happening that haven't finished up that I just don't have anything currently available to talk about. But I am excited about the Nightmare Before Christmas pieces that I'm going to be working on this week, getting that done and pushed out and everything else, the moving parts. It's like there's a lot and there's a little. There's a lot to talk about, but there's also not a lot to talk about. I feel like I've talked about a lot of these things over and over and over again because they're so exciting, but they haven't happened yet. So anyways, I hope you guys have a beautiful week and I will see you guys next Monday with an update on my characters. And I'll probably see you guys with tutorials and my crochet club members. I'll see you guys for the crafters gathering. This there's, there's a lot happening. <laughs> I, I do though. I hope you guys have the best week and I'll see you with the next one. Bye, guys.